A cover-up. That's what a local veteran is calling a report released by the Inspector General after a request by Senator Inhofe. The IG failed to investigate her case. Two Works for You investigator Marla Carter has been following her case for more than a year now. Marla. Brian, veteran Sephora Pendleton lost her baby a week after the VA denied to fund a medical procedure. But despite a U.S. Senator's request, the agency that's supposed to oversee the VA investigation never looked into it. Or at least, that's what they say. Yes, all right, put that one out there. My We're going to get mom. Put it out there. Veteran yeah. Sephora Pendleton has five boys. Two Works for You introduced you to them last fall. <laughs> but one son <laughs> is missing. Benjamin was never born. Well, I always wonder what he would have been like, what his personality would have been, or what the sound of his giggle would have been, you know, and I'll never know. Last spring, Pendleton was five months pregnant. Her doctor said she was at risk of rupturing and needed a bladder scan. But the Muskogee VA denied to fund it. And a week later... And then as soon as my head hit the pillow, I immediately just started gushing blood. Senator Inhofe demanded the inspector general investigate. And 15 months later, the report came out. But Pendleton's case was not in it. Very angry. Very, very angry. That um, I just felt like they put me on the back burner. For the past 15 months, the Armed Services Committee has been assuring Pendleton that the IG was investigating her case. She believes that the Inspector General actually did the report, but has not released it. Just common sense tells you there's got to be something in there that's damning that makes them want to withhold releasing it to the public. Senator Inhofe is demanding the IG take up her case. We're going to make sure that we hold the IG's feet to the fire to make sure that we get this thing done. No one feels stronger about this case than I do. Pendleton buried Benjamin more than a year ago and now hopes his death brings life to justice. I'm happy, but I'm very skeptical at the same time just because we have waited 15 months. The inspector general declined our request for an on-camera interview and would not answer any specific questions about Pendleton's case. Marla Carter, two works for you.